Hi, Erwan from Motion VFX. This tutorial is fully dedicated to M Intro 2 pack for DaVinci Resolve. M Intro 2 on DaVinci Resolve is almost the same as the one on Final Cut Pro. In this pack, you will get 30 intro animations, 10 add ons animations, 10 backgrounds animations, and 5 topography animations. Here in DaVinci Resolve, I am in the edit page as M Intro 2 is optimized for it. You will get access to M Intro 2 content in the FX library, inside the toolbox in the titles section. To get a quick access to M Intro 2 elements, type M Intro in the search field. By skimming the cursor over the preset, you will be able to preview the animations. If it's not the case, verify if the Overscrub Preview options is enabled. If you like a preset and want to use it several times, click on the star to add it as favorite. Let's add the preset 26 and see how we can customize it. This preset has a really nice 3D animation, as the logo splits in various layers. To edit this preset, I will open the inspector. Inside the video tab, you will have access to all the preset's parameters. First, you can enable or disable the animation in and out. In this case, I really like the 3D animations, so I will keep them. Then, you can select between two modes logo or text. Let's start with the logo mode. In the content control section, you will get access to the global parameters like the position, the scale or rotation. To reset a parameter, you just have to double click on the parameter's name. You can adjust independently the size of the logo or the text. Talking about the logo, let's add one. Inside the logo controls, you will be able to import your own logo. It could be any pictures using JPEG or PNG format. PNG is a great format as it can carry the alpha channel. I will select my moon logo. And you can see that my logo has been imported and automatically all the effects are applied on it. So here we have the splits effect with all the layers. If you don't have a logo, you can switch to the text mode. And inside the text control section, you will be able to edit the text and adjust all the parameters. Below you will find the element control section, where you will be able to modify the color of the elements of the animation. But in this case, I would like to come back to the logo mode. Ok, so I will modify the color of the various components of this animation. It is also possible to modify the background color. If you want to get it transparent, just have to modify the color to black and set alpha channel to zero. As you can see, it is very simple to customize with your own logo any animations, and at the same time, match all the elements with your color and chart identity. But we can go further with M Intro 2. Let's create a video loop for a waiting screen for a streamer. To start, we need a background layer. There are many beautiful background layer animations available. I will get the background preset number four. The duration of each element depends on the DaVinci Resolve preferences, but it's not a big problem as you can adjust the length of any elements and automatically the animation will adapt. I will customize quickly the background layer, I will disable the animation in and out as I would like to create a loop, and I will change the color of the line and the background. I will also increase the number of lines. Let's add some sweet animations over it. I will drag over my background the add-ons animations number 2. I will select it and add brighter colors. The animation is great, but a little too short. I will complete this animation with the second one. I will use the preset number 7. These two animations fit perfectly. I will adjust one color on the second preset. Ok, perfect. Now let's add some text and use some typography presets. I will add the typography number 3. I will adjust the length. So I can adjust the position with the parameters inside the content controls. 
but you can also do it directly inside the viewer by using the fusion overlay. Now we'll edit the three text. I will keep the default font, but select the extra bold parameter for this font. I will do the same for the other two text. Inside the content controls, I will increase the global size just a little bit. I'm intro 2 offer many possibilities to customize all the elements, but you can also use filters to change the look or style. I would like to modify the background lines to graphical shape. To do so, I will use a Resolve FX from DaVinci Resolve. I will use a mirror effect. I will drag it over my background preset. Inside the inspector, by playing with the various parameters, you can completely change the visual, from stars to circles. You can also create new animations for typography preset by adding video transitions, for example. In this case, I would like to use a nice transition from the pack M transition zoom from Motion VFX and use the drift horizontal transitions. So I will add one at the beginning and one at the end for the animation out. Combining multiple animations and effects could slow down your project. The best solution is to use a render cache from DaVinci Resolve to see your animation at the right frame rate. To do so, you just have to go to the playback menu and in the render cache option, select Smart. It will render all the M-Intro 2 presets, animations, the effect and the transitions. So you will see a red line and it will become blue when the render will be completed. And we have our animation in real time. Of course, you can change any parameters at any time and it will automatically render the changes. With M-Intro 2, you will have a complete solution to create your openers. It is very versatile and you can get infinite results by mixing elements, adding effects on the presets or video transitions. To get more information about M-Intro 2 and all the other plugins available for DaVinci Resolve, please visit motionvfx.com. Thanks for watching. Ciao, ciao. Bye bye.